Energy used in homes is responsible for over a quarter of all UK emissions of carbon dioxide, the main greenhouse gas causing climate change. Making your home as energy efficient as possible will reduce carbon emissions and could save you over £300 a year on your fuel bills. Interhome addresses this issue in a convenient and desirable way. It's designed to help us out by intelligently controlling the power source of our appliances transparently. The system gives us a helping hand to save money on our energy bills and to ensure that our homes cause the minimum amount of damage to the environment. To demonstrate Interhome, a miniature house has been fitted out with many of the applications you would see in your own home including the front door lock, heating, cooling, lighting and a TV. These appliances are connected up to the system through custom circuit boards called room boards. The room boards incorporate 8 digital outputs, 8 digital inputs, 8 analog inputs, a light sensor and a temperature sensor. They are all attached to the 2 wire serial bus I2C and address differently enabling them to be used on the same bus at the same time. The software behind the room board is modular by nature, allowing a multitude of devices to be installed in the house with a minimum of code modification. The main control unit of Interhome is a device solutions Tahoe 2 which uses the Meridian CPU and runs the .NET micro framework. The touchscreen interface of the device has been fully utilised to offer ease of use and a rich user experience. Each device on each floor is controlled by a dedicated button on that floor's menu page. Devices that are external to the house, i.e. X10 devices, are controlled within the outside menu. Within the automation menu, you can select which intelligence mode you'd like to set the house to. These are easily defined within the automation section of the code. A few demo modes are already implemented. The work mode shuts down all the lights in the house, locks the door and turns on the alarm system. If all three motion sensors are activated, the alarm will sound. If they are activated one by one, the lights on that floor will be illuminated. Party mode will unlock the door, turn the fans on, turn all the lights on and disable the security mode. Turn party mode off and you have full manual control over your house again, using each button on each page to control each device. Another attractive and useful feature of Interhome is the ability to control the house via SMS text message. Here you see a message being sent to the house to engage the party automation mode. The message is sent and the house reacts. The same goes for activating the work automation mode. More granular control is achieved by sending user-friendly sentences like turn on downstairs lights or turn on upstairs lights etc. The house will send you a message back which can also be used to check the status of certain sensors within the home. A very useful feature included in Interhome is an electricity usage monitor. This can be used to see exactly how much energy we are saving by turning off certain appliances. This information can also be sent to the database and can be compared to similar data from other local houses. 
All of this information is sent to a centralized database via a web service. This means that other devices may control and monitor the house state remotely. One way of doing this is by using the optional Bluetooth module. This can be used to connect on mobile devices such as phones and palm tops. This connects to one of the UART serial ports on the Tahoe 2. Due to the modular design of Interhome, other devices can use this port instead. A Wi-Fi module for wireless internet connectivity through the home broadband if it's inconvenient to run a network cable, or GPS, GSM and GPRS functionality for precise location mapping, SMS messaging and wireless data connectivity via mobile network. Interhome will also interact with existing X10 home automation devices. A control unit is attached to the RS-232 serial port of the main control unit, which allows commands to be sent to any X10 devices within the house. The program running on this mobile device is written in the highly portable compact framework. This means that the same code can be used on Windows Mobile and Windows CE devices. These small footprint e-boxes can be placed around the home to provide CCTV monitoring plus convenient touchscreen access to the devices in the home without having to be at the main control unit. For access to all devices away from home, this Silverlight application provides a highly visual control mechanism. This application is hosted external from the home, so it's accessible from anywhere on the internet. As you can see, Interhome operates on three levels. At the top, we have a database which stores the state of all the houses connected to the Interhome system. On the second level, we have the web service which provides methods of getting and setting the status of the house. This is accessible by all kinds of devices, regardless of operating system, and provides the contract needed to interact with the house. Also on this level is the Silverlight application. This interacts with the web service in the same way that all the other devices do. The third level contains two sections, home and remote. Firstly, we have the devices within the home. The Meridian main control unit, which is physically attached to all the appliances with its graphical user interface, I2C, X10, Bluetooth, GPS, GPRS and GSM connectivity. Next is the e-box with a touchscreen display and optional direct Bluetooth connectivity to the main control unit. Outside the home, the Windows mobile application can be used over the mobile network and the Silverlight application can be used on any PC connected to the internet. So, as you've seen, Intome is an extremely well-featured system which could potentially save us a lot of money and will almost certainly reduce the amount of energy wasted by our homes. It does all of this as unobtrusively as possible and it's also a highly convenient addition to any household. The features of the Tahoe 2 control unit have been exploited to their fullest potential to provide an extremely energy efficient solution to this problem that we're all faced with. Thanks for watching.